Yes, today we are back with the second chapter of Unperfect Cheerleader on the episode Choose Your Story app. If you have not seen the first one, there will be a link so you can go watch that, let me tell you. It's messy in the best way possible. First, we're supposedly a perfect cheerleader, except we were in an alleyway getting something. Mm Mm-hmm, you heard that. She's in the alleyway getting something. The cops came. We ran from the cops. Then we get home. Our dad needs to talk to us about something. But I guess we're on a rocky relationship with him because we kind of were rude to him. Then we go to the hottest party of the year, right? Only for this boy, Slade, who was our childhood friend and childhood crush, who vanished, never called us when our mom passed away, and everything. And now he shows back up in town. Yes. All of that mess is happening. So now is the meeting. This is the confrontation. And I'm excited to see this. Will we be able to resist him? And will we keep our secret is what the description said was secret. Is this performance enhancing? What are we doing in the alleyway? I need to know these questions. Go we'll follow the amazing author Lady Diana. I will put an Instagram link to her Instagram and meditation box down below. Be sure to like the video so I know you want more chapters of Unperfect Cheerleader. If you don't like it, I don't know you want any more and I'll stop the series. So be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's start the drama. Oh my gosh, Slade. What are you doing here? This is my party. What are you doing here? His party? He just got back in town. What do we mean his party? Oh my gosh. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? This is exactly the lousy icing this dumpster fire of it's ain't needed. I can't believe this. Oh no. That's our dealer. This is so awkward. Then why is he acting like that was sad? JP. Good to see you again, bro. I thought you weren't going to come back. I wasn't going to, but after what happened to Sophia last year, there was no way I was going to leave her alone this year. Yeah, I figured it had something to do with that. Whatever you need, I've got your back, man. Here you are. Cool party, huh? What did I miss? Just CJ spitting fire like a dragon on the big slate here. Oh, you've seen her already. She grew up all right, didn't she? Why is he looking like this? Sorry. This is going to be fun. Why is he? But yeah, why is he acting all like this? He's the one who did all this. this is, I need to know these things. What What is the mess between these two? What's the problem? Oh, there's a lot. It's Slad. <laughs> Gosh, I'm so angry. I can't even talk. Slade. Slade is always the problem. He wasn't supposed to be here. I'm sorry. I have to go. DJ. Yeah, it's it, the next morning. Okay, well, we really had a little confrontation here. Oh, no. Who hustle y'all? I'm sweating over here. I'm so sorry. I'm a hot mess. I got my second dose yesterday. I'm a mess today, y'all. I barely can record this video, but I'm here. I'm here. Why didn't you tell me? Um, mm-hmm, yeah. Okay. What are you talking about? Who do you think? Slay, Dad, I saw him last night. Why didn't you tell me he was back? Well, probably that was what he was trying to tell you. I tried to tell you during dinner, but you left. Oh, gosh, please tell me he's only visiting and this isn't a permanent thing. Nah, sit down. Please sit down. Stop acting so messy. Okay. Do you remember what happened to Sophia last spring? Of course, I remember I was there. Okay, so this is the tea that we need to find out here. What happened to Sophia? Okay, so it's a little cheerleading tryout. Oh, is she gonna fall? Is this even her? I don't know. To be fair. Oh, oh, oh no. Okay, so. Did you know she's been bullied ever since? Um, did we know? Or did we not? I don't know here. I didn't know. I know. I, I, she's the head cheerleader. She probably knows. Yeah, everyone knows. Well, she's been having a hard time. So there, why was it? Why is she getting bullied? Because she threw up? They're really bullying her over that? Please. Well, she's been having a hard time. So their parents decided that would be for the best if Slade moved back and finished the senior here with her. 
What do you mean? He's back for real? Yes, DJ. Maybe this will be good for everyone. You three used to be so close. No. How can you do this to me? You know how I feel about them. Oh. She feels a certain way, doesn't she? Oh, dear. If you're here to talk about the Turners again, save it. I know you guys lost contact for a while and after your mother, things changed. Don't. Don't talk about her. Can you please at least try? Why is this so important to you? You know Mr. Turner is a close friend of mine and and the biggest ally in your campaign. Yes, and with the new campaign starting, we'll be spending a lot of time together. That will include you, Slade, and Sophia, too. This is just not her two days. I know it's hard for you to understand it now, but friends and connections are important. If you like to live in a big house like this and it's in the best schools, this is how we do it. So, <laughs> okay, you know what? I feel like her dad tries. I, uh, we don't know, like, further in the story what he does or how he is, but he seems like he cares. Unlike another mayor dad in Mafia's The Mafia's Fallen Angels story. So, we're gonna try. I'll try to be nice, but that's all I'll do. That's all I ask. With that being said, get dressed because we have an important committee party at the Turner's house tonight. Oh, not already. It may not always feel like it is you, but we're a team here. I'm counting on you. All right, we're not gonna let him down. Can I just say real quick... I love this story. It started off strong. The drama's getting thrown at us already, but we're learning backstories. We're learning connections. Like, it's not taking too long to build up, but it's not quick enough. I'm loving the story. Besides, Slade's gonna be there. It's the perfect opportunity to show him what he's been missing. I need to make the right choice tonight. Okay, so choose our look. Kind of like- okay, no. I like the red. Yes, stunning. Okay, Turner's house. This is the moment. Um, look at you. You all grown up so fast. <laughs> Thanks. Good thing. Oh, Mr. Turner. <laughs> Mr. Turner. Good thing you could come earlier, Frank. We have a few things to look at. Slate. Oh, mm, that kid never gets ready for time and anything. Did you make yourself at home? The party will start soon. Oh, dear. Okay. So here is everyone. Well, I think the past year speak for themselves, Lena. If the people want to keep seeing the town, we all know I'm the clear choice. Spoken like a true man of the people. Miss DJ, let me just say you look stunning tonight. Social media is going wild over that ravishing red gown. Is there anything you'd like to say to your adoring admirers? What is she gonna... Mmm. Mmm. Awkward smiles. <laughs> Mm, great timing, now Slate's watching. Whatever, if you want to watch, to watch, I'll put on a show. You know what? You know what? Support, blow, you know what? Get the killer speech. I'd love to. My dad has the gift of bringing people together. He's passionate about helping those in need and pours his entire heart and soul into this town. But really, his actions as mayor speak for themselves. He's an honest and hardworking man. You can't find a better mayor or better person to serve out his last year as mayor. That was beautiful. You must be very proud of your daughter, Mayor. I truly am. Well, if you'll excuse me now. Of course, thank you for your time. So out we dip. And we're just... Oh, dear. Oh, hey, DJ. I didn't realize you'd be here. Oh, hey. Okay, gain friendship points. This is awkward. You know what? We'll compliment... This is so awkward. Compliment her dress. I like your dress. Oh, thank you. Congratulations on making cheer captain, by the way. I know you're going to nail it. Thanks. Well, I'll see you around. Oh. <laughs> that was a nice speech, really. You're really good at public speaking. Mm. What do you want now? Are you just going to stand there? What do you want? Come on, we can make a little truce here. No one is watching. Not interested. I know you hate these parties. Let me get you out of here. Spending time with Slade. I don't... Do I want to spend time with him? Fine, but... Only because this party is boring. What were you expecting? Breakdancing? I don't know, but this is too much with you. I need to know your side of the story because... 
we about to date you again and then dump you. If I haven't already said this already, you look amazing tonight. You really are different. Last time I saw you, you were three inches shorter with pigtails. <laughs> Last time I saw you, you had braces. Yeah, not my best look. I don't want to be too mean. People change. People grow up. I know. I'm sorry about your mother. Oh, well, that's real convenient. I need to hear that two years ago. Not now. I don't need your pity now. I'm really sorry about that eye. Why are you here, Slade? Really? I think that's obvious. I'm here to find out what happened last year in a mess of every idiot who made my sister's life a living hell. It's high school. What did you expect? People are mean, but they forget. I bet no one remembers it now. Well, I do. Come on, DJ. I was hoping you'd have my back on this. You've always wanted to do the right thing. That's just who you are. Listen here, little boy. I'm gonna look out for Sophia. Not you. Honestly, I didn't realize how bad things have gone for Sophia. I've been wrapped up in my own world. Of course, I'll keep an eye on her. It's not her fault her brother is a dick. Thanks, I guess. You're a real humanitarian. Look, if you really cared about her, you'd have come back earlier. The accident happened last year. Slade, where have you been? For a split second, guilt flickers across Slade's eyes. He quickly hides it behind his cocky smile. Why did you miss me? If you wanted me to come back so badly, you could have just asked. You're an asshole. A lovable one. Are you, though? Are you, though, Slade? What happened to you, Slade? You never used to be this arrogant. Me? What about you? I've gotten stronger. I'm not the weak little girl I used to be. My eyes are open. Hm. I liked that other girl better. The weaker girl? Okay. Whose fault is that, Slade? You left, and after everything that happened, you just left. So yes, I've changed, and I want you to stay the hell away from me. Oh, he really thinks he's something. Mm-mm. Thank you for your support tonight. I meant a lot, the things you said to that reporter. I didn't realize he felt that way. Of course I do, Dad. I want to support your career. You know it's not just about my career. Things will get better, I promise. He's trying. He's trying so hard. Let me know what y'all think of Slade. I need to know in the comments. Oh, here he is, by the way. Oh, are we gonna have a little viewing? He can never know about Lucas. Who's Lucas? Oh wait, is that he can never find out about what I did? What did you do? Um, 